So my name is Sumit, and I'm one of the co-founders, and I'll be the lead instructor for Omaha Code School. And as Scott mentioned, Omaha Code School is a web development school. We teach people to make websites, uh, and we're trying to create what are essentially called full-stack web developers, people that can work on the front end or the back end. And as you mentioned, I was exposed to this school model uh, over the summer, just, just this past summer. Um, it's the Code Academy model of schools. So they're also sometimes called dev boot camps. And there are a lot of these schools showing up across the nation. Uh, these are some of the bigger ones. There's dozens in San Francisco, New York, Boston, uh, all over the country. But really, smaller cities like Omaha have, as of yet, not seen much movement for coding academies like this. So the typical Code Academy model looks something like this nine to 12 weeks of full-time instruction. Usually it's 12 to $18,000 of tuition per student. And of course, these schools are trying to help you find jobs, so they assist you in that search with meet and greet events and things like that. Over the summer, I was uh, the lead instructor for web development immersive at General Assembly in San Francisco. And that was my first experience with this whole thing. It was so incredible to see how quickly novices can become capable developers. Uh, and, and part of it was also just to see how enthused the students could be. We also took a lot of field trips uh, in order to expose the students to the industry, not just give them tech skills in a vacuum. And so this is us visiting GitHub, where the students learned about collaboration, which, if you're not from the technical industry, oftentimes is not really a part of your job in the way that it is when you're coding software. They also learned about remote, about remote work, and, and that, again, was something that was new to a lot of the students. We had John Henry Mueller and Megan Casey from PAC come in and give a guest lecture, and they talked about it from another perspective, which was how do you as a developer be a good person to collaborate with? John Henry, of course, is a great designer, and he works with a great developer, John Hobbs, but what makes that relationship good? They talked a little bit about that. The students were always engaged. This was 12 weeks of very intensive learning when everybody showed up to class every day and nobody was late. There was no Facebooking or texting. The students were so jazzed about learning this stuff. It was the most fun that they had had in an educational environment ever. And so they always worked together. They, uh, they made a lot of projects together. Some of them even tried to launch mini startups like you would at a startup weekend through what they learned in the class. And it was also exhausting work. Uh, and so, so one student actually put a sticky on his shoulder saying, do not disturb after we had finished project demonstrations. So it's very hard work, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. Every single student said, this is what they wished college had been like. And this isn't a slam against college, but it is a learning point, because there are different ways to facilitate education. And this intensive model is really interesting in that it does allow for a particular kind of bond to be created between students and their instructors. So Omaha Code School. We want to do something in this community similar to what the major cities already have going on many times over. Uh, we want to work on real projects with Omaha Code School, which is a slight change from how some of the code schools do it right now. They're project focused, but they tend to be more abstract or hypothetical projects or throwaway learning projects. We're going to have some of those as well, but we're also going to have client work that the students are going to be doing. It serves two purposes. One, it lets the students work on real things so that they can get good experience. It also lets them graduate with, uh, with some actual job experience. So the resume doesn't just say, I have learned for 12 weeks. It says, I actually worked on this real thing, and real people are using it. Um, I guess it does three things, because the third thing is it helps them pay back their tuition. And so for them, they'll be earning money when they're doing this client work. And, and that's a way for them to, to afford the course more easily. We are going to have a 12-week full-time program, just like a standard Code Academy. We're aiming to be cheaper. We want to have $6,000 per student as a tuition, and we have a maximum of 16 students. So we had 77 applicants since we've launched in, uh, I think it was late November. And surprisingly, to me at least, these applications came from all over the country, and in fact, all over the world. We had people from Luxembourg, Singapore, and a couple other countries apply as well. And we're ready to roll. First day of class is February 24th. We're set, we've got our first class already admitted. Uh, and so that's Omaha Code School. I wanted to save as much time as I could for questions. I hope I didn't go, good, I'm actually under, perfect.
Hit me. 